Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you how I made this stylable wood texture using Photoshop. Now, this is not a step-by-step -step tutorial, but if you want me to make one, please let me know in the comments below. I always like to start with a base color, in this case this brown, and with big brush strokes layer the different shades of this color. I prepare the color palette in advance, so I don't waste time doing that in the process. I'm only using one brush and it is a hard round pressure opacity brush, which you can find as a default brush in Photoshop. When I'm using only one brush, I like to change its size for details or play with opacity depending on the results I want to achieve. When I was done with the base texture, I started to add more details. I would suggest gathering different images of wood textures from nature and studying them, uh, as well as studying other artists' work because you get to see how others used colors and made shapes and texture. Uh, I wouldn't say that this was my all-time favorite study, but I definitely learned how not to make random cuts on the wood. And yes, I do not like how they turned out at the end, but that is also perfectly fine. It is also a part of a study, so making mistakes is an actual learning process. You can always analyze at the end what you did well and what you actually failed. Analyzing your own work and being honest with yourself is only one step further. So. This whole study was about that because, to be honest, I haven't done a proper material study in a while. So yeah, I should probably also change that. And by the way, speaking of studies, if you also think that you need a little push and bonus motivation, make sure to join my Discord server where we are doing little challenges every single week. And the wood texture was the main study this week. You still have time to join and do a wood study and post it in the Discord server. The link will be in the description below. For the rest of the process, I continued to define the edges, added highlights, uh, added more color vari variations and more cuts. The whole process took me around 40 minutes to finish. Overall, I can say that I'm happy with how it turned out, but looking at it now, I could say that I didn't really think too much about how the whole texture would look like. Uh, when I make a pattern out of it. Uh, for example, this really thick bold line looks too much comparing it with the rest of the texture, as you'll see at the end, and some cuts don't really make sense. But I like how the colors look and it does look like a stylus texture and I'm happy about that. So the part when you want to make it seamless and tileable without manually trying to connect the squares is actually really easy. The first step is to go to filter, other and offset. Horizontal and vertical pixels are set to 512 and when you press OK you'll get this weird cut texture and now is the time to actually define and connect these two sides. And the last two steps are to define the pattern and add it to the pattern list. And that's it. You can play with the scale and add as many tiles as you want. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you found some value here. And don't forget to join the Sketch Club on Discord. See you guys in my next video. Bye.